It's a bold claim to say that Nita Strauss is the last guitar hero when Tim Henson is out there. But when you look at what she's doing, it may not be so bold in the future. Let me explain. Welcome metalheads. I'm the host of Heavy Metal Philosophy and writer for Metal Digest, John Barbus. Make sure you stick around to the end of the episode for this week's riff of the week. How can I say that Nita Strauss is the last guitar hero? Well, as a guitar player, I hope she's not. But I've lived through the last 20 years watching guitar become less and less popular, less and less cool in the mainstream. When I started playing guitar, it was already past the peak of the popularity of guitar heroes. Metallica had already reached its pinnacle. Guns N' Roses had already been the biggest rock band in the world. And all of my guitar player friends that were just starting out like me were still learning Eddie Van Halen licks and Jimi Hendrix stuff. You were either in the classic rock or metal if you were in the guitar. Then Nirvana happened and then new metal. So when I started playing, the shredding guitar players were already out. The classic guitar solo was already out of fashion. And, you know, of course, the metal scene kept the fire burning for virtuoso guitar playing. There was still a place for the Michael Lamotts and the Carl Sanders of the world. And that place was the underground, the hardcore, the extreme metal scene. But as far as the mainstream is concerned, as far as big time rock and roll, big time radio rock, Virtuoso guitar playing is no longer the invoke thing to do. The mainstream no longer had the attention span and the novelty of look how fast I can play had completely worn off. So since the late 90s, who has been that next great guitar player? To prove my point, just look at the latest issue of Guitar World magazine. It features the cover Nuno Betancourt. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm super glad that a great guitar player like Nuno is getting the credit that he deserves, but then also look at the tabs. Every month I used to look forward to getting Guitar World magazine in the mail and look at the tabs so I could learn some more stuff about guitar. Look at the tabs on the latest issue. You've got Extreme, ACDC, and Joe Walsh. All classic rock. So, and it's like that every month. Every month, You've got the same classic songs, the same, you know, big time, everybody learns how to play them on guitar. You've got that same tab in every issue of Guitar World. So it's kind of like there's no new guitar heroes. So right about now, you're probably saying, well, what about Tim Henson and the dudes in Polyphia? What about Tosin Abasi and Animals as Leaders? What about Pliny? What about those guys? Absolutely right. I'm not saying that there aren't great guitar players. Tim Henson, Tosin Abasi, Pliny, and a bunch more guitar players are at the cutting edge of the style, the instrument. They're the most innovative players out there. And I give them full credit. There's a ton of super talented guitar players. Look at the bands in metalcore. They've all got great guitar players. Look at Era. But which one of those guitar players, not the lead singers, not the band, which one of those guitar players is getting a lot of notoriety outside of Tim Henson? And then there's Nita Strauss. Nita is getting a lot of mainstream attention. She's making it cool to be a guitar player again. And not just for guitar nerds like me. It's always been cool to people like me to play guitar. But she's making it cool to the rest of the world to play guitar. And she's getting notoriety without saying controversial things and pissing off the boomer players like Tim Henson does. She's getting it just for her playing, just for her music and her songwriting and who she's collaborating with. And as a consequence, she's got twice as many monthly listeners on Spotify as Animals as Leaders and twice as many as Pliny. Now, for the record, she does have half as many as Polyphia does, but she's also only got one album out. Well, that is until this Friday, July the 7th, she's dropping her second solo album called Call of the Void. And I think a big reason why her record is getting so much attention and there's so much excitement for this second album is because unlike Guitar Heroes of old, she's not putting out a Shredder album. 
She's not putting out an album like, you know, Steve Vai or Joe Satriani would have back in the day. That's just a bunch of instrumentals and they're all just vehicles to show how good of a guitar player they are. She's putting out an album of actual songs and she's just involving guest singers the way that Santana did. In the mid to late 90s, Santana released Supernatural, which was a smash hit of a record that absolutely revitalized his career, and that's because he collaborated with that generation's biggest stars. And after Santana put out that record and all the success that he had, I read an interview with Steve Vai where he was saying he wanted to do something similar. He wanted to put out a record of songs and he would get all of the day's biggest stars to collaborate with him, but he couldn't get the record label to get behind it, and he also couldn't get the collaborators that he wanted to. But Nita Strauss did. On this latest record, she's collaborating with Anders from In Flames, Alyssa from Arch Enemy, Chris Motionless, David Draymond, Dorothy, Alice Cooper, Marty Friedman, just to name a few. That's about as star-studded as you can get while still maintaining your metal cred. And that's why I consider her the last great guitar hero. It's not like she's the only great guitar player. There's plenty of great guitarists out there. There's plenty of awesome shredding going on in the underground. But who else is making this much of a splash in the mainstream? It's really just her and Tim Henson. Who else is this big of a star for just playing guitar? Not singing, not producing, not being popular on TikTok or winning some reality show or some other manner of social media popularity just by playing guitar. She got this popular. Who else has done that? Who else is going to be on the cover of Guitar World magazine that's less than 40? And even more importantly than that, who else is going to be on the cover of a magazine that's not a guitar magazine for just being a guitar player? That's what I mean. She's popularizing being a guitar player again. Now remember back in the day, it used to be the singer and the lead guitar player that was the big star. You know, Steven Tyler and Joe Perry. Sammy Hagar and Van Halen. I know that pisses off you David Lee Roth fans, huh? James Hetfield and Kirk Hammett. But nowadays, it's really only the lead singer that everybody knows their name. And don't get me wrong, it's also the best time ever to be a guitar player. There's more resources available to us very easily than ever before. It's so much easier to make music now. It's so much easier to learn new techniques now. It's so much easier to get your work out there and you know, have a big hit on your hand. But at the same time, I've just watched it where in the mainstream, guitar rock and roll has gotten less and less popular. And as a consequence, it's gotten harder and harder to make a living playing guitar live. But I don't know everything and I don't know everybody. So y'all let me know who else is out there that I'm missing. Who else is the young next great guitar hero that we're all going to know their name just for playing guitar. And in the meantime, let's talk about this week's riff of the week. This week's riff of the week is the crusher, The Wolf You Feed by Nita Strauss featuring Alyssa from Arch Enemy. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about the premise, what you think about the riff of the week. And if you're on YouTube, you can click right here and catch another great episode of Heavy Metal Philosophy. If you're listening audio only, no worries, links in the description, but most importantly, Read philosophy, listen to metal, I love you. Who else is going to be on the guitar? More importantly than that, who fuck, Who else is going to be on the guitar? Ugh, fuck. <laughs>